Here's Akita. Hi, Kita. Hi, honey. Kita. I wake me up when we're done. And we have the kitty out here, Mickey. And Kita has... No, don't put... Don't, Lucy. Don't let her lick you in the mouth. I must hear a siren or something. It's not, it's not worse than if it's fire crack, dog. Yeah. <laughs> So we think that Kita is cat friendly because she, when we let Mickey out of the crate, she showed zero reaction. Come here, Kita. She did not lunge. She didn't do anything. I got her on a leash, but I'm going to let it off. Call her over. Should we start bringing one Kita. of the kittens? Hi, Kita. Should we start bringing one of the kittens, Mama? I don't know, bro. Or are they cleaning Mickey likes his job. <laughs> Mickey likes to go for rides. Now he's used to it. <laughs> yeah, poor Mick. Other than when they're not cat friendly. Like Lucas. I think Mickey knows that we're not going to allow him to get hurt, you know, and he's he's really a great cat for this. Oh, he's, he's a wonderful cat overall. I mean, not just you, but. Well, I mean, the first, you know, there was a bunch of times when you brought him that we tried testing him and he just went into freak out yeah. mode and he yeah. flew off and went through the door over there and. Yeah, and hurt his head 21 times. But he, uh, <clears throat> I think he knows now that we're not going to allow him to get hurt and that this is... Remember when he Mickey has a job to do, huh, Mac? Yeah, official cat tester. <laughs> wow. Hi, Kita. Call Kita over. Let's see, because she's standing over Kita. here by me. Call Kita. her over, Liz. Hey, Kita. Oh, I ain't going over there to that kitty. He's back in the tail. Come on, it's okay, Kitty. Me, He's wagging yeah. her tail. Okay, Kita. Kita, go see the dog kitty cat. You might trot at me again. I scared that kitty cat. It's okay. I'll protect you. Yeah, I've had zero on. trouble out here. It's nice to have a nice pack right now because, you know, the last I few. Know. I know. Well, you've had nice packs too until Lincoln. <laughs> Obnoxious Lincoln just needs some obedience some work. See and obedience. But, you know, the last pack I had before we sent dogs, I was like, uh, okay, this group is driving me crazy. It's okay. He really is a love. He just needs one-on-one -on -one attention. Badly. We'll get him adopted. And the other side. Thank you. Not to be too hard. Soon enough. Hmm? Yeah. Not soon enough. Oh, I've had plenty of them here where I was like, uh, love you, but can't wait for you to go. And mostly it's because of the, the, you know, more dogs and they act more obnoxious when there's more dogs. Aww. She is such a good girl. I mean, she is just a doll. She has been so well behaved. I mean, she has caused zero trouble here. No problems. Call, grab her leash and pull it like I say grab but you know I mean take her leash and try to get her to sit down and relax with the kitty there
She's obviously been around cats before. And notice they hit you. Very respectful. Mm-hmm. Well, Tabitha, you know, went up last week to her family, and their cat, they described him on the application as bitchy. <laughs> and when she got up there, the cat like freaked on her and she was scared to death I mean like <laughs> terrified <laughs> the kitty let her know you are not the boss here <laughs> and I don't know if Maine Coon cats are more dominant like that but that's what he was as a Maine Coon <laughs> I don't know nothing about cats I don't and he acts like the king does he if it's dinner time he will swap me that's what this is from oh my Mickey, when he wants attention, he'll swap me in the eye with his paw. I think we have a cat friendly here. Yay! Like Not awesome. I, I should have knew it because based on her character and how she's been here. I should have knew that she was probably cat friendly. I kind of figured she might be, but yeah, she's just been a real gentle girl. Yeah, and, you know, they, because the owner said she was having food aggression, well, it wasn't her. It was the other person's pit bull. The pit bull was the one having the food aggression, so they were beating her. And and the guy was afraid that apparently, or some of this, what I was told was that um, it was pretty bad, and he was afraid that she might get killed or really hurt badly. Yeah. And so um, he took her to the shelter to protect her. And so I don't know if the fact that he told them there was food aggression. I've had my hand in the bowl. Uh, the puppies run up. You know, the puppies get in everybody's bowls. The puppies have ran in her bowl. She didn't do anything. You know, so she, you know, where this thing is with the food aggression, it's not her. It had to have been the pit bull that was in the household. So um, I, know there's, I know there's nice pit bulls out there, but there's lots of, you know, not so nice pit bulls. So. Who knows? But I, from the testing and the over two weeks she's been here, she's been an absolute doll baby. And Jack is barking at the cat. And Jack is mine, obnoxious boy. Dinner. Okay, Kita. Hi, honey. The pretty girl. She's so pretty. She pretty girl. She's good with kids, cats, other dogs. She's gentle, easy to handle. She's a doll baby. You want to try her for lunch? <laughs> yeah. We might be having her adopted here soon. 